The world is full of stories, stories of bravery, adventure, and sometimes even love. But none of these stories compare to the greatest love story ever told, the story of Jesus. His love is not found in fairy tales or movies, but in the truth of his life, death, and resurrection. Jesus walked this earth, not as a distant king, but as a humble servant. He didn't surround himself with the wealthy and powerful, but with the poor, the sick, and the forgotten. He saw our pain, felt our sorrows, and chose to love us anyway. His love is not just a feeling, it's an action. It's in the way he healed the sick, comforted the mourning, and forgave the sinner. It's in the way he sacrificed himself on the cross, taking our place and offering us forgiveness and new life. His love is a beacon of hope, shining brightly in a world often shrouded in darkness. One day Jesus was walking through a town when he saw a group of people gathered around a well. In their midst was a woman, shunned and avoided. She was a Samaritan, and Jews did not associate with Samaritans. But Jesus, he saw her, not with judgment, but with compassion. He asked her for a drink of water, breaking all social norms. The woman was surprised. Why would he, a Jewish man, ask anything from her? Jesus then spoke to her about living water, water that quenches thirst forever. He offered her forgiveness, hope, and a new life. The woman, touched by Jesus' kindness, ran back to the town, her heart overflowing. She told everyone what had happened, how Jesus had seen her, spoken to her, and offered her love and acceptance. Jesus saw past her past, past the label society had placed on her. He saw her heart, a heart longing for love and acceptance. In another town, Jesus encountered a group of people chasing after a man. This man was covered in sores, his body racked with leprosy. People were terrified of him, afraid to even breathe the same air. But Jesus, he was not afraid. He stopped and looked at the leper with eyes full of tenderness. The man, desperate for healing, fell at Jesus' feet and begged for mercy. Jesus, filled with compassion, reached out his hand and touched the man. Be clean, he said, and immediately the leprosy vanished. This simple act of touch spoke volumes. It shattered social barriers and demonstrated the immeasurable depth of Jesus' love. He wasn't repulsed by the leper's condition. He was moved by his suffering. Jesus showed us that love knows no boundaries, no fear, no limitations. Section 4. Love Without Limits Time and time again, Jesus demonstrated his boundless love. He forgave a woman caught in adultery, offering her forgiveness and a chance to start anew. He dined with tax collectors and sinners, showing that everyone, regardless of their past, deserves love and compassion. He wept at the tomb of his friend Lazarus, demonstrating the depth of his love and empathy for those who mourn. And on the cross, he prayed for those who crucified him, saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. These acts of love, compassion, and forgiveness paint a clear picture of Jesus' heart. His love is not conditional. It's not based on what we do or don't do. It's a love freely given, offered to all who would receive it. Section 5, Living Water for Thirsty Souls. Just like he offered the Samaritan woman living water, Jesus offers the same to us today. His love is the living water that quenches our deepest thirst, a thirst for acceptance, belonging, and unconditional love. In a world that often feels cold and unforgiving, Jesus' love is a warm embrace. It's a refuge for the weary, a light in the darkness, and a source of strength for the journey. No matter where we are in life, no matter what mistakes we've made, Jesus' love is always available to us. All we need to do is open our hearts and receive it. Section 6. An Everlasting Love The story of Jesus is not confined to the pages of a book. His love is alive and active today. It's a love that transcends time and circumstance, a love that offers hope and healing to a hurting world. When we open our hearts to Jesus' love, we experience a transformation. We become more forgiving, more compassionate, more loving ourselves. We begin to see the world through the lens of His grace, offering that same grace to others. The love of Jesus is a gift, a gift freely given and eternally available. It's a love that changes everything. It's a love that can change the world. 